द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फ्लावर फ्लावर इज स्पेशलाइज मॉडिफाइड शूट विच मेट फॉर कैरिंग आउट द सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स फ्लावर इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ एन एनजीओस्पर्मस प्लांट्स विच अकर्स सिंगली आर इन क्लस्टर्स द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ ए फ्लावर इज टू परफॉर्म सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन फ्लावर्स आर द रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स ऑफ प्लांट they mediate the joining of male gamete which is present in pollen to the egg which is present in ovules which are contained in the ovary this is also called fertilization flower generally composed with four important layers such as number 1 calyx number 2 corolla number 3 andrisium and number 4 gynecium among these four layers calyx and corolla together called vegetative or accessory or non reproductive parts of flower andrisium and gynecium together called essential or reproductive parts of flower in addition to these flower shows following parts like bracts bracteoles and pedicel classification of flowers flowers are classified into different types by different aspects the very first one based on bracts second one based on bracteoles third one based on pedicel fourth one based on sexuality fifth one based on condition sixth one based on number of floral appendages Seventh one based on symmetry. Eighth one based on the position of calyx, corolla, and andrisium with respect to the gynecium. The very first aspect of uh, classification of flowers is based on bracts. Bracts are small leaf-like or scale-like structures present at base of the flower. Based on bracts, flowers are classified into two types. bracteate flowers and ebracteate flowers the flowers which contains bracts are called bracteate flowers the flowers which lacks of bracts are called ebracteate flowers let's see in the pic also the leaf like structures present at the base of flower which are called bracts the second aspect of classification is based on bracteoles leaf like structures present between bract and flower is called bracteoles based on bracteoles also flowers are classified into two types number 1 bracteolate flowers these flowers contains bracteoles number 2 ebracteolate flowers these flowers lacks of bracteoles see in the pic bracts are present at base of the flower bracteoles are present between bracts and flower the third aspect of classification of flower is pedicel the stalk or long filamentous part of the flower is called pedicel based on pedicel also flowers are classified into two types number 1 pedicellate flowers which contains pedicels number 2 sessile flowers which lack of pedicels see in the diagram both sessile flowers and pedicellate flowers are there pedicellate flowers contains a uh, stalk of the flowers or pedicels sessile flowers lack of these pedicels the fourth aspect of classification of flowers is based on sexuality based on sexuality flowers are broadly classified into two types bisexual or perfect flowers unisexual or imperfect flowers coming to bisexual flowers the flowers which contains both andrisium male and gynecium female parts called bisexual are perfect flowers example rose hibiscus datura brinjal and tomato unisexual or imperfect flowers again classified into two types number 1 staminate or unisexual male flowers number 2 pistillate or unisexual female flowers staminate or male flowers 
The flowers which contains only andrisium are stamens called staminate or male flowers. Example, cucumber. Number two, pistillate are female flowers. The flowers which contains only gynesium or pistils called pistillate or female flowers. Example, begonia. The fifth aspect of classification of flowers is based on condition. Based on floral organs condition, flowers are broadly classified into two types, such as complete flowers and incomplete flowers. Very first one, complete flowers. Flowers which bears all four types of floral organs, like calyx, corolla, andrisium, and gynesium are called complete flowers. Example, solanum species. Second one, incomplete flowers. The absence of any one or more of the floral organs makes the flowers incomplete. These are called incomplete flowers. Example, euphorbia species. Based on number of floral parts or appendages. Based on number of floral parts or appendages, Flowers are of four types. Number one, bimerous flowers. Number two, trimerous flowers. Number three, tetramerous flowers. Number four, pentamerous flowers. Number one, bimerous or dimerous flowers. The flowers which contains two or multiple of two number of floral appendages called bimerous or dimerous flowers. Example, poppy. Trimerous flowers. The floral appendages which are three or multiple number of three, called trimerous flowers, example, onion and argimon, tetramerous flowers. The flower floral appendages are in four or multiple of four in number, called tetramerous flowers, example, mustard, pentamerous flowers. The floral appendages of flower is uh, five or multiple of five in number called pentamerous flowers example solanum nigrum the seventh type of classifications of flower is based on symmetry the quality of being made up of exactly similar parts facing each other or around an axis called symmetry based on symmetry flowers are of three types such as actinomorphic flowers Jigomorphic flowers and asymmetric or irregular flowers. Number one, actinomorphic flowers. In this type, a flower which can be divided into two equal halves by any vertical plane passing through the center is known as actinomorphic flower. This type of symmetry is called radial symmetry. Examples, Ipomia, sweet potato, dianthus, mustard, datura and chilli. Remember, in actinomorphic flowers, we can divide those into two equal parts in any vertical plane passing through the center. Let's see the diagrammatic representation of an actinomorphic flower which shows radial symmetry. See in the peak, the flower we can dividing into two equal halves in any vertical plane which is passing through the center. For your better understanding, please check this diagram carefully. The second type is Jigomorphic flowers. In this type, a flower which can be divided into two equal halves by any one vertical plane passing through the center is known as Jigomorphic flower. This type of symmetry is called bilateral symmetry. Example, P, Adathoda, Gulmahar, Bean and Cassia. Remember, Jigomorphic flower can divided into two equal halves by any one vertical plane passing through the center. So this type of symmetry is also called bilateral symmetry. Let's see the diagrammatic representation of a jigomorphic flower. See in the diagram, we can divide the flower into 
two equal parts in any one vertical plane passing through the center let's see in the pics also the two flowers which are showing zygomorphic uh, are uh, bilateral symmetry we can divide those two flowers into two equal halves in one vertical plane which is passing through the center in other ways we cannot divide those flowers into two equal parts this type of symmetry is called bilateral symmetry see the diagram carefully for your better understanding the third type is asymmetric or acyclic or irregular flowers in this type a flower which cannot be divided into two equal parts by any vertical plane which is passing through the center so this type of uh, flowers are called acyclic or asymmetric or irregular flowers this type of symmetry is called asymmetric which means they are not showing any type of symmetry example opuntia and canna these flowers we cannot divide it into two by any plane passing through the center let's see the diagrammatic representation of asymmetric flowers these are very complex flowers we cannot divide those into two equal halves through any vertical plane passing through the center the eighth type of classification of flowers is based on the position of calyx corolla and rhesium with respect to the position of gynoecium which means based on the position of floral organs on this aspect based on the position of floral organs and thalamus of flowers are classified into three different types such as number 1 hypogynous flowers number 2 perigynous flowers and number 3 epigynous flowers let's see the first one hypogynous flowers in this type ovary develops at its top called superior ovary while other floral whorls are layers like a calyx sepals corolla petals and rhesium stamens are born successively below it is called hypogyny a flower which is having hypogyny is called hypogynous flowers example citrus mustard china rose and brinjal let's see the diagrammatic representation of hypogynous flower with superior ovary see in the pic the ovary is at top the remaining parts like calyx sepals corolla petals and rhesium stamens present below to it which means ovary is on top that's why it is called superior ovary this type of flowers are called hypogynous flowers the next type is perigynous flowers ovary and other floral organs like calyx sepals corolla petals and rhesium stamens lies at the same level this ovary is said to be half inferior or half superior ovary example leguminosae family plants rose plum and peach perigynous thalamus is of three subtypes such as disc shaped cup shaped and flask shaped thalamus containing perigynous flowers the very first one disc shaped thalamus is flat like a disc the gynoecium lie in the center while other floral parts occurs at the same level in peripheral portion example p the second type of perigynous flower is cup shaped margin of the thalamus is turned upwardly to form a cup gynoecium grows from the bottom of this cup while remaining other floral organs are born at the rim of the thalamus example pronus third type flask shape margin of the thalamus grows upwardly to produce a hollow flask 
with gynoecium at its bottom and remaining floral parts at the mouth of the flask example rose plant in all these cases gynoecium or ovary is described as superior while androperiant which means andrician calyx and corolla or the remaining floral parts are said to be superior that's why these are half inferior or half superior flowers let's check the diagrammatic representation of all three types of perigynous flowers with half inferior or half superior flowers the very first diagram represents disc shaped perigynous flower the second one represents flask shaped perigynous flowers and the third type or third one represents cup shaped perigynous flower with half inferior or half superior ovary for better understanding you check these diagrams carefully the next type of flower is epigynous flower in this type ovary is inferior while the other floral organs like calyx corolla andrician are born at the top of the ovary as margin of thalamus grows upward enclosing the ovary completely and fused with it example ray florets of sunflower cucumber goa and coriander let's see the diagrammatic representation of epigynous flower with inferior ovary see in the diagram ovary is completely buried into the thalamus other floral appendages like sepals petals stamens present at the top of ovary which is called ovary is inferior other floral organs are superior the another type of classification is based on perianth based on perianth which means calyx and corolla flowers are three types number 1 aclamides flowers number 2 monoclamides flowers number 3 diclamides flowers number 1 a clamidus flowers a flower without perianth without sepals and without petals called a clamidus flowers example euphorbia the second type is monoclamidus flowers in this type flower contains only one whole of perianth which is a non essential floral organ example resinous third one diclamidus flowers a flower with both the non essential flora holes of perianth like calyx and corolla example mustard brassica diclamidus flowers are of two types number 1 homoclamidus flowers in this type the two holes of flower possesses same color example lily number 2 heteroclamidus flowers in this type the two holes of flowers possesses different colors example petunia up to here we completed the classification of flowers based on different aspects in next video i will explain calyx corolla and types of estivation thank you very much